That's right, Harry. It's 20 pounds of tomatoes. No, that must be potatoes. Where are my glasses? Anyway, it's 20 pounds of potatoes, 10 pounds of apples, 9 chickens, 8 candles, and a dozen dreidels. Well, they're not here yet. And my grandchildren, Zack and Muffin, are coming any minute for Hanukkah. Well, I certainly hope so, Harry. And a happy Hanukkah to you, too. Uh, yes? Are you Mrs. Bobby? Uh, yes, and I certainly hope you're the delivery boy from Harry's. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I got this whole delivery of potatoes and apples and chickens and candles and, um... Uh, dreidels, I think, something like that. Uh, mazel tov. Yeah, so what are you doing? You like having a Christmas party or something? Uh, no, we're getting ready for our Hanukkah party. Oh, wow, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. So, like, what do you do for Hanukkah? That's Hanukkah, dear. Ch, ch. Well, it's a time when our family and friends get together to celebrate what it means to be Jewish, hmm. our culture and history. We play Hanukkah games and sing songs, and of course we light the candles and have dinner. Wow. Say, would you like to join us? Oh, that sounds great. But you know, like I've got to head home for my family's Christmas party tonight. Oh, well, that'll be fun too. Yeah. So, like, um, what do you do with these these things here? These oh, little tops or whatever. That's a dreidel, dear. Uh huh. It's a Hanukkah game we play. You see, you spin it, and uh, it has one letter on each side. Oh yeah. Four Hebrew letters. You see. Mm -hmm. Spin it like this, and if the letter Gimel lands face up. You win the game. Wow, that sounds like totally fun. So, like, what do you use these candles for? Oh, well, we light the candles each of the eight nights of Hanukkah. Hmm. One on the first night, two on the second, and so on, up till the eighth night. They represent a miracle that occurred during the battle for religious freedom. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, like I was saying, I'd really love to st stay, but I... Uh... Uh, uh... No, 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 no. Wait for dinner, dear. Oh, sorry. Uh. Um, Mrs. Bubby, are they like relatives of yours or something? <laughs> no, but we do act like a family around here. Actually, this is my boarding house, and oh. I have guests who rent rooms here. We all share the household chores and have dinner together. <gasps> dinner? That reminds me. I'd better get busy. Here's a little guilt for delivering the groceries. Gil, why should I feel guilty? It's not my fault that the groceries were late. Not guilt, dear. Guilt. Guilt means money. Oh, well, um, good. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Enjoy your party, dear. Thanks, and have a nice, um, Hanukkah, Mrs. Bubby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Ah, I do hope my grandchildren get here soon. I can't wait to see them. Are we lost yet? My feet hurt. Don't worry, we're almost to Bubby's boarding house. Yay! Hey. Bubby's boarding house. Bubby's boarding house. If you love to learn, then you learn to love the place I'm thinking of. Lunch with a rhinoceros. Or even a mouse. At, at Bubby's, Bubby's boarding house. house. Every Jewish holiday, you'll find us there. Celebrating all day and night. Learning Jewish traditions. And eating everything in sight. In <laughs> Bubby's boarding house. Bubby's boarding house. You can bring your Uncle Sidney your kids or your spouse to Bubby's boarding house. used to do that. We're here! Oh, and we eat these delicious pancakes called potato schmatas! 
Oh, yeah. I used to eat those all the time. That's potato latkes. Now let's go see Bubby. Oh, just a second, Zach. Oh, when we play this fun game where you spin a dreidel. Why don't we just go inside and see Bubby? Oh, and we get these wonderful presents. Last year, Bubby, that's our grandmother, gave us these hats. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Wow. Those, they match. Those are the greatest hats I've ever seen. Your hat's great, too, Chester. Now, come on! Yeah, but my hat doesn't match yours at all. I have a really bad hat. Hat! Get your hats right here! Round heads, pointy heads, all kind of heads! Get them all their heads! Perfect! I'll take that one! What, that one up there? Yes, that's it. I'll take it. <sighs> my back isn't what it used to be, but okay, here we go. One, two, three, take it! <sighs> Hey, looks beautiful on you. Thanks. Pets, yarmulkes, okay. Okay, let's go meet this bubble of yours. Mazel tov. Oh, Zach, you silly. We've been standing in front of Bubby's house all this time. I told my parents that I wanted a brother. <sighs> yeah, what do you want? We're here to see... We don't want any. This. Now what? Excuse me, could you please? All right, all right. Uh, put us down for a box of chocolate chip. Uh -uh. One box of chocolate chip cookies. Let me find my pencil and write that down. Chester, we're not selling cookies. We're not getting in either. But he said he wanted a box of chocolate chip cookies. Okay, I got an idea. You again? Can we come in? No! We're busy. But I know the secret password. What secret password? I can't tell you that. It's a secret. Well, I didn't know there was a secret password. Well, sure, you can't get in without the password. Well, how did I get in? Maybe there was a mistake. Hey, uh, anybody back there know the secret password? No, I've never heard something in my life. OK, uh, anybody who doesn't know the secret password? Outside. Let's go. <laughs> Bad news. Having to find the drill. Well, glad I took care of that. Believe me, I know something about this. I used to make latkes professionally. <sighs> you mean you used to be a professional latka? Ah. Bobby! Oh, Bobby! Zachary! Oh. <laughs> Let me look at you. You need a haircut. Bobby! <laughs> How I missed you. <laughs> Bobby! Oh. Uh, who are you? This is Chester. Um, Chester, this is Bubby. Bubby! Hey! <laughs> nice to meet you, dear. I'm sure. uh, uh, this is Anton. Uh, Anton, these are my grandchildren, Zachary and Muffin, and this is their friend, Chestnut. Um, Chester. Uh, nice to meet you, Anton. Of course it is. Uh, Anton and I were just making some latkes for tonight's Hanukkah party. Oh, oh. I can't wait to light the Hanukkah. Candles. Yes, dear. And tonight we'll be lighting all eight candles because it's the last night of Hanukkah. Oh, we wouldn't miss one of your Hanukkah celebration parties for anything, buddy. <laughs> well, there's still a lot to do. Uh, can I help? Sure you can, kid. You can help me make these delicious tomato latkes. Tomato <laughs> latkes? Ugh. I told Anton it's not tomato latkes. It's potato latkes. Ah, uh, don't be silly. I know everything about this. We're going to do it my way, and everyone's going to eat tomato latkes. Yeah, that sounds awful. Muffin, he's an expert at this. He said so. Right. 
<sighs> well, why don't you just make your tomato latkes, and we'll make potato latkes, and then everyone will have a choice. That's a terrible idea. Everyone has to do it my way. <sighs> All right, children, let's go find you a room. Come here, kid. Whoa! Well, okay, what do I do? I'll show you. No one makes latkes better than I do. Bruno's Moving and Storage made me chef of the month last year. <laughs> wow. Oh, looks good, boys. Now, uh, when you're through with that, I'd like you to hang the Happy Hanukkah sign. We want everything ship -shape for tonight's party. Uh, sure okay, thing, Bobby. Bobby. How's it going, uh, Zelda? Uh -huh. I hope she didn't give up her day job. Not Ben. So skin the tomatoes, throw out the potatoes, and you're there. Oh, gee, okay. You're about to learn from a master kid. Everyone's going to love my tomato latkes. Yeah. Then we'll be rid of those dumb potato latkes for good. Um, but Anton, what's wrong with potato latkes anyway? Well, uh, well, for one thing, they're really passe. Uh, yeah, mm. everyone in Paris is using tomatoes this year. Really? Yeah, we've just got to convince those bozos that they should join the tomato generation. And I'll be the biggest tomato of all. Everything will be my way. Ha <laughs> ha! What you did. Get oh. me a sponge, will ya? Sorry. <laughs> Here you go. Hmm, sponges. Sponges. This gives me an idea. Everybody's very busy getting ready for the. Uh, hmm. Where is everybody? And why don't you children go up to your room? I'll get to the bottom of this. Uh oh! Oh. Look, there she is, uh, Aardvark. What? Ruffles, you skin. Peanut butter. Just what are you talking about? We're trying to guess the password. Password? <whistles> All right, huddle up, everybody. Well, here we go. <laughs> now, listen, I'm sure this little game of yours is lots of fun. But we all want to have a nice Hanukkah party tonight, don't we? Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Sure. So why don't we just go back in the house and knock off oh. this funny business? One, two, three. Break! Okay. okay. Let's do it like that. Oh, 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 oh. They're so excitable.
back up every night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hanukkah is only celebrated eight nights of the year. Aww. But on those nights, we have a lot to remember. Hmm. At Hanukkah, we remember the valiant Maccabees who wouldn't let oppression take away what they believed when the rulers of the empire said they could not be Jews. They said we'll practice our religion just as we choose. He's gonna love this. Okay. Here, now let me just let me just get to this. That's better. Okay, everyone, gather round. Yours truly, the one and only Anton, Yay. proudly presents. Da -da 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 -da. The Great Luck of Taste Test. Yay! Ah. Hey, Chester, what are you doing? Well, actually, it's really important. You see, um, Anton and I, we're kind of um. Well, we're, uh, we're trying to... Say, Anton, what is it we're doing? Well, we're going to show that people in the know prefer the taste of my tomato latkes to the taste of the other leading brand. Oh, they yeah. may yeah. prefer them over the taste of the leading brand of soap, but that's about it. We'll see. All right, everyone, first try this delicious sample, which no one will realize are my tasty tomato latkes. Right. Mm. Go ahead, feast away. Ha-ha. <laughs> I wouldn't paper the walls with these. Yeah. Oh, they seem very excited about them, Anton. Of course they are. Oh, okay, everyone. Yeah. Now try this yucky second batch. Uh -huh. Here you go. These aren't locked. Choke on these. Forget it. Work it anyway. Just forget it, Anton. Why don't you try scrubbing the floors with these? Well, yes. uh, there you have it, folks. 73% of those surveyed picked my tomato latkes. And 82% uh, of those not surveyed. Uh, right. So, now you will all eat latkes my way. Ha <laughs> oh, ha! <laughs> right. Why not? I'll go sell these to the mice outside. Ha! Even the mice aren't that desperate. Oh, Dreidel, I made it out of clay, and when it's dry and ready, oh, Dreidel, I shall play. Oh, Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay, 
Oh, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Oh, dreidel, I shall play. <laughs> yeah, I love this game. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, Zach, come here. Yeah? We're playing dreidel. Want to play with us? Yeah. Oh, sure. Times one, 11 times straight. Yeah, really? I always get a gimmel. That's impossible. No, it's not. Watch. Ha-ha, <laughs> I win again. Pay up. Wow, that must be the luckiest dreidel in history. Oh, isn't this great? I made it myself. Take a look. Wait a minute. Anton, you put a gimmel on every side of this dreidel. Well, it's my dreidel, so we play my way. But that's cheating. There's supposed to be a different letter on every side. Suppose everybody did that. Well, I, I wouldn't play. I only can play if I win. No, you don't get it, Anton. See, on this side, here's a nun. Ah. No, wait a second. There's a different letter on every side. You really? play a nun? I thought nuns were Catholic. And on this side is a hay. And hay is for... Horses! <laughs> <laughs> no, hay is for the Hebrew word haya, which means was. Oh, I get it. The nun was on a horse. <laughs> Bobby! Yes, my little cupcake. Oh, Bobby, could you help me explain about the letters on the dreidel? Why, certainly, my oh. dear. There must be four letters on the dreidel to remind us of the miracle. A miracle? Oh, why, yes. Look here. Nun, Gimel, He, Shin. That stands for Neskadol Hayasham. A great miracle happened there. Where, wow. Bubby? Why, in the land of Israel, in a hmm. town called Modin. It all started in the year 167 before our era. Oh, how old were you then, Bobby? My big. <laughs> <laughs> well, dear, it was in the time of our great, 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 great grandparents. Wow! Yes, a Jew named Mattathias and his children were to begin a revolt against the Emperor Antiochus because he would not let them practice their beliefs. You mean he wouldn't let them be Jewish? That's right, dear. He wanted everyone to practice the Greek or Hellenist culture. Idols only three drachmids of the emperor while they last, which at this rate should be about 2,000 years. How many we got left? Um, let's see. Oh, about 500 bags full. You know, Antiochus told us we'd make a mint in this business. The latest fad, he said. <laughs> but you know, most of these Jews just won't buy them. Well, gee, I think they're kind of cute. Yeah, me too. Hey, there, you rotten camel! What are you doing? You really like them? Say, camel food! Get your camel food here, only four drachmas! Go fast! All right, pipe down out there. Your great and noble ruler, Antiochus, is about to make a proclamation! Do we have to listen to another one of their proclamations, Father? We hear, but we do not listen. All right, pipe down out there. Your great and noble ruler, Antiochus, is about to make a proclamation. This is ridiculous. No, I don't want to hear Hey, quiet, I say. Anyone who makes trouble will be arrested. Yeah, we've heard that story before. And, uh, and horribly tortured. Yeah. And, and forced to listen to Antiochus make proclamations all day. Yeah, that's better. And now, without further ado, I give you your great and noble ruler, Antiochus Epiphanes. Thank you, thank you. You're beautiful. You know, I love you Jews. I really do. And that's why I want you to be Greek. Greeks have more money, more land, more fun. What do you say? Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Everybody, come on. Think I'll just read the proclamation. <laughs> just a few no-nos for you Jews to keep in mind. Let's see. Uh, oh, this is good. Starts with things you cannot believe in. <clears throat> a is for Ark, which never was floating. A is for atonement. That day's verboten. A is for Abraham. Forget his kin. A's for Antiochus. Hooray for him! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm on a roll. We love you. Yeah. <clears throat> B's for bar mitzvah, and that is forbidden. 
And these for your Bible. Forget it was written. C is for candles you can no longer light. D is for Dobbin. No praying, all right? That's not In other right. words, why don't you just forget all this Jewish stuff, huh? Hmm. Maybe I should just read the list of things you can do. Yeah, what can we do? Thanks. Yeah. You can... Wait a minute. Be Greek. Try it. Yeah. You'll like it. Then one long day long. I'll be able to look out across this great land of you, uh, ours and say, it's all Greek to me. <laughs> Gee, do we get to wear those stylish outfits too? Of course. And um, what about good seats for the Olympics? You got it, pal. And now, for a limited time only, you can purchase one of these handsome Antiochus idols, which you must pray to daily, all for the low, low price of only three drachmas. Oh, wow. Oh, what a bargain. We no, see that. no, stop. Be yourselves. Jews don't worship idols. Don't you know that? You can't stop being Jewish just because he wants you to. That's no reason to stop being yourselves. Hmm. Is this a good reason? Ha-ha! <laughs> Everyone who is for the Lord, follow me! Yeah. Yay! Yay! So, Mattathias and his children had to flee the city. But more and more people joined them in their mountain camp. And soon, they were a whole army, ready to fight for religious freedom and the right to be themselves. Oh. For 5,000 years, people thought the Jews were strange. They did everything they could to make them change. They locked them up, dressed them up, bothered and they messed them up. But while they'd been messing, the Jews had learned this important lesson. Be yourself, no matter where the wind blows. Be yourself, whatever you do. Someone else can never be you Before you look at me Look inside and be yourself yeah. Be yourself no matter what the fashion Be yourself and you'll be a star No one else can be who you are Before you look at me Look inside and be Follow all the latest fads and TV ads that change every week. But you can take it from me, I don't mind being one of a kind. In fact, it's rather unique. <laughs> Be yourself, no matter where the wind blows. Be yourself, whatever you do. Someone else can never be you before you look at me. Look inside and be yourself. Look inside and be yourself. Gee, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Chester, huh? you're kind of missing the point here. Okay, who wants to make applesauce with oh, me? Oh, oh, oh that would be fun. Yeah, let's go, Can kids. We go? Yeah, let's All go. right. Hmm, now what do I do? I'll just turn the stove all the way up. Ha ha, there. <laughs> okay, listen up, everybody. Now, Reinhardt, I want you to core the apples. Aye, aye, Bubby. Uh, Zach, you chop. Right, Bubby. Muffin, mix. Yes, Bubby. And, uh, Chester, dear, please take off that rhinoceros horn and let's get busy. Ready, Reinhardt? Yes, ma'am. One. Pump it right on there, bud. Two. Three. Say, um, could I try coring an apple, too? Well, uh, you can try. Okay, ready? One. <laughs> Whoa. Chester. Um. Two. <laughs> Hanukkah's about being who you are. I'm sure being a rhinoceros is fine. You bet it is, buddy. But yeah. being a, well, what you really are is fine, too. Bubby, you never figured
finished telling us the story. What happened to Mata Hari and his kids? It's Mattathias, dear. Well, he died, but his son Judah and his followers soon became known as the Hammers, or Maccabees in Hebrew, because they were such strong fighters. But the enemy the Maccabees fought was also strong, and not every battle was a victory. Dinner's ready. Don't tell me. Beans again. No. Bean. One bean. <laughs> I get the wishbone. Hey, I get the wishbone. Hey, give me that. But I was here first. But I'm the hungriest. Yeah, but... Everyone, stop this. If we fight each other, we'll never win back our freedom. Oh, Judah, they're starving. Can't you see? How can you expect to lead a ragged band of hungry warriors in the battle? How can I not? Would you rather our whole nation wither without the food of the soul? Would you see our very being dissolve into the desert air like dust? Oh, Judah, we all want the same thing. I only meant that... I know. I'm sorry. Hey, who goes there? It's a friend. Look, supplies from the village. Yay! Supplies, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. But always, when they were just about to give up their struggle, they were reminded that the fight was not just for themselves, but for all Jews and for the future. Well, my hungry honeys, we'd better get busy or we'll have no dinner for tonight's party. But what about the miracle, Bubby? Yes, Bubby, tell us about the burning oil. Ah, yes. I can almost smell it now. Me too, Bubby. Hey, wow, something is burning. Look. Oh, my. Oh. Hey, quick, what's going Just on? Just what are you doing, my confusing, quarrelsome cornflake? Stand back. Whoa. There, that ought to do it. Just what do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, look, you've ruined my new and improved latkes. Looks more like a burnt matzo ball to me. <laughs> <laughs> Anton, you've forgotten the most important ingredient. The reason we make latkes is to remember the miracle of what, my darlings? The oil. Well, I don't use oil in my latke recipe. Well, then you're not really celebrating Hanukkah, Anton. Well, you're not really making latkes, right, Chester? Oh, um, right, Anton. Listen, Anton, I think you'd better hear the rest of this story. Why don't we just go into the dining room and set the table? Come along. Okay. Many lives had been lost in the battle for freedom. Even the great Judah Maccabee was now gone. But the Jews fought on. Finally, the Greek forces could withstand the rebel strength no longer. We won! <laughs> and so the Jews forced the Greek armies to leave Jerusalem. It was a victory for religious freedom everywhere, but the damage was great. Gee, what a mess. Maybe we should have asked the Greeks to clean up before they left. Hmm, you think we could use that building over there? <gasps> no, this is our temple. This is part of our history and part of our tradition. It's where we go to pray and where we give thanks. Come on, everybody. Let's get to work! Yeah! yeah. Come on! Okay! Come on. What's all that got to do with oil, anyway? Well, according to the Talmud, after the temple was cleaned and rededicated, there was only enough oil to burn in the temple lamp for one day. So, they sent the messenger to get more oil. But the trip would take four days each way. He couldn't possibly return before the eighth day. But on the second day, the lamp still burned. On the third day, the lamp still burned. On the fourth, fifth, and sixth days, the lamp still burned. On the seventh and eighth days, the temple lamp's flame still miraculously burned. And so we light the Chanukiah, a special menorah, 
adding another candle each night for eight nights to remember the great miracle that happened there. Well, it's sundown. Time to light the menorah. Baruch Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has made us holy with your commandments and commanded us to light the Hanukkah lights. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who made miracles for our ancestors in those days at this time. That was beautiful. We light up the candles every night, it's a beautiful sight. We light the menorah, the Hanukkah, it's a beautiful sight. Eight lights shining, so much we can learn from the miracle, so we watch them burn. Okay, everybody, let's sit down at the table. Why don't you come and join us, Anton? Yeah, come on, Anton. Everything looks so delicious, and I'm starving. Uh, I don't want to sit at the table. Those latkes aren't as good as mine, and I won't eat them. <sighs> Hanukkah's a dumb holiday anyway. Who wants to light candles and spin toys? I'd rather light firecrackers or go trick-or-treating. <sighs> Those are fun holiday things to do. Come on, Chester, let's go have some fun. Um, Anton, I Come think on, I Chester, I'm waiting. Anton, all day long I've been trying to fit in by being like other people. That's not what the Maccabees would have done. Now I know that I should just be me and be proud of what I am. I'm Jewish, and I like Hanukkah. When we light the menorah candles, I feel good inside. So I'm going to stay right here and celebrate Hanukkah with my friends. Yeah! Good for you! That was great, Chester. Yes, Chester. We're all very proud of you. You really understand what Hanukkah is all about. Well, I hope I didn't hurt Anton's feelings. Oh, he'll get over it. Remember when we were walking here today and you threw your hat in the garbage? Yeah, well, that was a really great hat, too. Yeah, I thought you might want it back, so I rescued it. <gasps> really? Yeah, here, put it back on. Wow, <laughs> this is great. This is my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Inside and be your 
smell good. Maybe I will join you. I can always taste these and tell you where you went wrong. <laughs> oh, they're just eating away right now, and here we are. I hope they haven't started eating without us. I bet they have. You know, I don't ever remember having to use a password before. Well, um, why don't we try gumball? Yeah, gumball. No, no, no. You try gumball. I tried the last two. Hmm. Okay. Gumball. Gumball. What? Nothing? Well, oh, I knew that wouldn't work. Oh, darn. Oh, rats. Rat. Rats? Who are you calling a rat? I'm you? sorry. Look, I didn't mean it personal. If, if you don't get so sheepish in the way you call Gumball, we'll be in the way you want now. We'll be in the way you want now.